Hello everybody, um, this is Brian here from Adirondack Flippers and Rusty Relics. Um, today I've been wanting to show you all this. This is our brick and mortar location. Um, this is in Salisbury Center, which is one of the gateway towns to the Adirondacks. Um, the wife is doing some help at our church doing a dinner tomorrow, getting ready for that. So I got to sit at the store today. And uh, so I figured I'd give you all a tour of this while I'm here. So I'm going to spin the camera around and we'll start a little tour of it. That's the outside of it. Like I said, this is a brick and mortar location we call Rusty Relics. Um, as you can see, we uh, we do a lot of different things here. Records, we've got toys, we've got all kinds of antiques and collectibles. And this is in uh, Salisbury Center, New York. And so let's take you on inside and I'll give you a tour of the inside. All right, so uh, here we are, we're on the inside. And like I said, I'll just give y'all a uh, general tour of our brick and mortar location. We um, we do business here year round and we are open year round. We have winter hours and summer hours, of course. But um, summer hours, we get a lot of people coming up to the lakes here in the Adirondacks. And they're always looking for unique, decorative and uh, just cool stuff. And so this is this is the front room here, and everything is kind of transitioned up here because uh, we do seasonal stuff. So we go Christmas, Halloween, Easter, uh, St. Patrick's Day, fall. It's all this is a transition room. So and it's constantly changing. So you can tell she's in the uh, in the actual process of redecorating up here, and uh, she does a lot of work here. This is a uh, I know this isn't easy. She puts in a whole lot of effort to keep this place, you know, looking good and ready for business here. So, I'm just gonna, like I said, take you row by row, kind of see what we got. We had all kinds of uniques, salt and pepper shakers and little statuettes, all mid a bunch of mid-century stuff, nautical lights. We got tons and tons of Crocs. Um, well, uh, fishing creels, blue molds. Got some beautiful lamps and lighting. Lots of lamps and lighting. Um, these are some old merchantile uh, spool cabinets. These are just beautiful George Clark spool cabinets. And they do have graphics on the sides and the backs of them. Um, we do another thing we do a lot here is we do a lot of albums. We have vinyl and uh, mostly albums. I took uh, the 45s out. So mostly what we're doing in here is 40, or, uh, 33s. But she does sell a lot of stuff to people at the camps. So we have cookware and we have you know, various different pots and pans and stuff. And um, all kinds of collectible uh, dishware and Corel and Hall and... Uh, decorative stuff um, as you can see it's quite the selection here our Pyrex section is a little bit low right now we do sell a lot of Pyrex and these big eyed little statues from the 70s they do phenomenal and I also are bringing in electronics up here we do a lot of electronics here as well uh, turntables and old TVs with VCRs and um, vintage radios and all kinds of stuff like that. We have uh, a DVD section because a lot of people are staying at the camps and stuff like that. Uh, they don't have satellite TV or nothing like that. So they'll buy movies and take them back to watch them. There's another vinyl section. And I'm mostly... Uh, Mostly filled with rock and roll. We do have a couple uh, country in there and some rap and stuff like that. But I try to mainly keep it rock and roll. That's uh, our biggest seller. Um, there's some more vinyl. Like I said, we sell a lot of that. So whenever I find collections of it, I'll buy it. Uh, enamel wear. We have milk bottles and country decor and... 
uh, various different Pyrex and crystal pieces and etched glass and some ju just some beautiful stuff here and antique phones like I said we got a lot of lamps and lighting pot, uh, coffee pots and stuff like that as you can see uh, lamps do very well here as well so we're always on the lookout for lamps and lighting that's the back side of that one vinyl rack we have a Native American section with various different dolls and chalkware statues and various different pieces and just some beautiful uh, Native American uh, pieces and then we have Adirondack stuff like moose and fish and bears and all that good stuff we do have some taxidermy um, that does very well as well here so got lots of trinkets and this and that a few cookbooks we got a little cookbook section and those used to do real well we still sell a few here or there but not quite like we did and some of my metal toys I bring in and that's my uh, specialty I love toys as you can see, we got some. Uh, we've sold a bunch last week, so I'm bringing in more to replace. Um, if you watch my videos, you've seen this uh, Barber Green conveyor. I bought that uh, a few weeks back. I bought a uh, chain for the drive, and I also bought a belt and put on it. So now it's a functioning piece. As you can see, the buckets move up and down, the belt moves. So that's now a functioning piece and then this you all saw in another video is a Jaeger Kenton concrete mixer and this just really needed a uh, string a couple strings which I got to retie them and burn them on there but I'm gonna fix it finish fixing that up we're gonna put that in the store plus it's on eBay as well which we'll do with a lot of our stuff it'll be uh, on eBay and for sale local to increase our uh, chances of selling it and we also got a case of uh, various different costume jewelry pieces necklaces bracelets and that stuff always does uh, pretty good in the summertime there and uh, we're a little low on our fishing reels and stuff but I'll be stocking that back up again soon little action figures or uh, monkey figures and box or a case of smalls and vintage medals and medallions a couple of uh, decanters and Elvis Presley and a J.R. Ewing from Dallas everything's uh, being moved around here so it looks like it's a little bit of a mess but um, things are there's a method to the madness I'm sure so this is our cast iron uh, section we sell a lot of cast iron whenever I find it it'd be all rusty or what have you and I'll clean it or store it and season it up and we sell a lot of cast iron out of here so it's all it's really a hot seller that's some Christmas lights over there and some Disney stuff a lot of Disney in this section various different Mickey and Minnie items and Goofy and all the Disney characters. And a couple lunch boxes and thermoses. Some nutcrackers. You know, vintage lanterns. And we got a lot more around the shop than just that. But uh, that's what we uh, have back here in this room. And we got beer, uh, beer glasses, beer decorations, um, various different figures and action figures. Uh, toys board games we got more Adirondack decor some more glow molds and a bunch of Revere wear that does real well here too I'm always on the lookout for Revere wear 
we sell it out of the store here. I don't even have to put it online because it moves so good. Um, another thing that is kind of shocking is test trucks would do very well with. So I'm always buying out collections of that. Toys, toys, and toys. A little bit of Star Wars stuff, some Transformers stuff, uh, some vintage Radio Shack stuff, action figures, turtles, um, more, some Christmas stuff, and some Cabbage Patch dolls, and an NSYNC buy that I got about six years ago that was dumb. I don't know why I bought it. I only paid 20 bucks for five of them, but yeah, they don't do very good. But lots and lots of action figures and toys. And we have tons of these in my garage in the spring. I'll do another video. I've got probably another 150 die cast cars uh, and toys galore. If y'all seen uh, my last video and my uh, with the or not the last one but the one before last, um, you would seen a little bit inside my garage there. But uh, yep, this is uh, the back room, and I'll be taking you into the uh, Christmas room here in just a moment. And we're going into the Christmas room here now. And this room is always in transition as well. We got stuff. This is where the holiday stuff we pack in in that back room back there. And we kind of sort through it here. And she'll decorate the whole front room with the stuff. And like I said, she puts a lot of work in it. She does that seasonally. Some more blow mold items that we have. We do very well with uh, ceramic Christmas tree boxes, which we have the trees for. And, I mean, like I said, anything unique I'll buy. We've got more blow molds, Halloween blow molds, Halloween decorations. Um, this is Christmas land in here. We have some new Christmas stuff, but a lot of vintage. A lot of, uh, there's plastic injection or whatever they're called, holiday decorations. Like I said, a lot of beautiful stuff. She's got flags for holidays, for spring, for hanging out in front of the house. More Christmas stuff. There's some stuff that's already packed to ship. And we sold quite a few of these trees this year. This is what we have left of the ceramic trees. And these do very well as well. Um, I think we sold... 15 of them this Christmas There's a lot Those are getting really hard to come by and people want a whole lot of money for them and This is a unique Santa we got. This is a ethnic Santa He was actually sold as or sold to be an actual black Santa, but he looks to be more like he's um, South American or some sort Lots of uh, mobile Christmas decorations are the uh, animatronics. Um, just lots and lots and lots of cool stuff here. All kinds of candles and little tchotchke Christmassy things. Light up Christmas things. Christmas bulbs. She's got Christmas houses and villages. And... Uh, there's tons of unique and fun stuff. We're uh, located at 127 State Route 29A in Salisbury Center, New York. So if you're ever coming through and you're heading up to the Adirondack Park and you want to stop in, when our hours are Wednesday through Saturday, or yeah, Wednesday through Saturday, 11 to 5, and just stop in anytime and see what we got now. If the weather is bad, um, you can contact me and we'll make sure that we're actually going to be open because sometimes in really inclement weather, we will shut the store down. So, uh, yeah, this is our brick and mortar location and 
but thank you for uh watching the video if you have any uh thing that you see that you like please like and comment anything uh if you can like the station like the channel we're new starting out so we like to uh get all them likes and them subscriptions and uh yeah just check us out thank you for uh joining me bye bye god bless